What's up everyone? Howard here from Growth Velocity Academy. What happens when something bad happens? Something not according to plan, something you didn't want, uh, sometimes completely out of the blue. I just want to talk about that because, listen, it's easy to just talk about all the good things, but the reality is in your career, in your business, bad things happen, all right? Things that were outside your control, all right? So I just want to talk about that, right? And this came up because a member of our level two program, I won't mention the person's name, but is a entrepreneur, has been growing their business over the last year. Um, and, you know, in difficult times, you know, it is difficult times to launch a business in the mo at the moment. Well, there's never an easy time. And I like massive props on her for launching that business. But then out of the blue over the weekend, the something, some government thing happened and someone from the government reached out and basically told her she couldn't run her business anymore. OK, um, now, guys, that sucks. And I want to talk about what, what do you do when something like that happens? How do you handle it? I, want, I remember when, a few years ago, when I was growing my mobile advertising business at Ludio, um, we got, I remember getting a letter and it was like uh, one of these, you know, these letters that come that you have to sign for it. So, you know, it's something really official and it had American stamps on it. And I was like, what's this? Opened it up and it was a cease and desist letter from a company in or the lawyers of a company based in San Francisco. Basically, I had launched when I launched that business. I'd call we called it originally Future Ad Labs, right? And uh, we're about two years in, and you know, kind of stuff like that at this point, and had quite a few customers and stuff. And there was a company in San Francisco called Future Ads, so something kind of similar, um, and they trademarked it. So it was a cease and desist letter. So we it's basically thing we had to completely change the name of the company, or they'd sue us. All right. Now we had to make a call on that, right? Now we could fight it. Or we could, essentially, we made a call that, listen, we could either fight that or we could use the same amount of energy it would probably take to fight it just to rebrand, okay? And that's what we decided to do, all right? So was it something I wanted to do? Nope. Was it a pain in the ass? Yes. But that's what I want to talk about today. What happens? It's less about it happening because stuff will happen. It's more about how you deal with it, all right? And that's what I wanna talk about. So I wanna talk about three tips about if that happens to you, what do you do? So tip number one is, first of all, just accept, just feel it, right? It sucks. I'm not gonna be here, like, I don't wanna be that kind of guy that is just like, oh, everything's good no matter what. Like, of course it sucks. And like, just, just, just accept it. Um, accept it sucks. But then when, you've when you're accepting it sucks, just a little bit like in my story, I talked about, I can decide here, I can choose. I can choose to spend lots of negative energy on this, fighting, going to legal battles, stuff like that, or I can do something good with that. And in the end, we rebranded and it turned out to be a really good thing, R really fun project, and uh, it was a good thing, right? But, uh, so step number one is just accept it and decide how you're going to react with it, okay? But, like, it's almost like, first of all, you need to go through a little bit of a grieving pro process, right? Now, the second point is once you've felt that and accepted and there's nothing wrong with feeling bad about it in that moment, is you must be doing something right if someone's noticing you enough to send you a legal letter, or a government reaching out to you. And that's what that's what one of the big things I thought. I remember when that happened to me, I was like, that sucks. But guess what? We must be doing something right if a company in San Francisco hears about us and decides that, you know what, we better do something about that because they've got a similar name because they obviously spent money doing that. So almost take it as a compliment that you're doing something right. 
And when you're growing something, when you're like launching something, your career, your business, whatever, uh, things are going to happen like that. It's just part of the game. And almost like sometimes, like some people go through their whole careers never being noticed, always kind of keeping safe and never putting themselves out there. And when you put yourself out there, you know, things are going to hit, things are going to bump into you and almost take it as a compliment that you're going in the right direction. Okay, so the second point there is really take it as try and take it as a compliment. You're doing something right because I'm because some people never get noticed and you've just been noticed by someone like whether the government or, uh, you know, someone on the other side of the world. Amazing. And then tip number three, and this is one of my favorite quotes that I read to myself regularly is a quote from a basketball player. All right. And this basketball player has this quote that says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times someone gave me the ball to, make, to, to take the match-winning shot, and I missed it. Over and over and over, I failed. And that's why I succeeded. And that is a quote from a basketball player you all know called Michael Jordan. And the lesson in that is the, this is the path to success. The path to success is not always things going the way you want it to. Because that's just not life. If, you're, if you are on the road to success, things like this are going to happen. So... Think about if you kind of pull a line up to the right in your mind. Uh, it's not a straight line. It's a wiggly line. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it's down and things like that. You'll get some wins and you get some failures. But the failures are just part of the road to your final success. Okay. So guys, just wanted to uh, share a message here that if you're whatever you're doing, let's say you're launching your business, you're changing career, you're doing something and that which is aligned with where you want to get to, some good stuff's going to happen. Great, but also some bad stuff's going to happen. And it's less about that the bad thing happened. It's more so that you deal with it and you just keep moving through it because it's part of the process. It's just part of the process. Think about Michael Jordan and his quote. Imagine, like he must felt, Imagine being given the match-winning ball, everyone in the stadium looking at you and missing. But he kept on stepping up and going again and going again and going again. So this stuff, if anything like that has happened to you, just keep on going, keep on going, do it again, do it again, do it again, okay? So guys, I'm Howard from Growth Velocity Academy. If you know somebody that this message would serve, please share it with them. Uh, so we can get this message out to as many people as possible. And please comment in the comments. Uh, one big takeaway for you. Okay, peace out and uh, chat soon.